Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. I'm starting this vlog out way late and today's Monday. It's literally been the Mondayest of Mondays. And I know you guys think that I'm like always productive, always getting a bunch done, but today was one of those days for me where I was lazy. And I'm not proud of it, but I'm trying to turn my day around now. I had class at 8.30 a.m. this morning and I came home and took a nap. And the only other productive thing that I did today was go and get a haircut. So the ends of my hair are super healthy now and it's like soft and shiny. Um, and then I ran up to Ulta because I had a coupon that I needed to use before it expired. And other than that, I have literally done nothing. So I need to get some stuff done. At six o'clock, I have a pre-PA meeting at my university and this is the first one that I'm ever attending. So I'm really looking forward to it. And even though I'm starting off this vlog like later in the day, I almost feel like this is gonna be good because I always end my vlogs like in the evening so that I can edit and upload. So they kind of start in the morning every single time. So I'm like, this will be really good. You guys can kind of see my evening. And then I figured I'll probably just tie this in with my vlog tomorrow. So I'm gonna do a little Ulta haul and show you guys what I got from Ulta. I used one of the 20% off coupons and they only ever have those a few times a year that you can actually use on like the higher end brands. So I took advantage of it. That's my favorite time to actually buy new products, try new things, and then obviously stock up on things that I use all the time. I got one of my dry shampoos. I use these all the time. I will link everything that I'm talking about in case you guys want to buy any of it. Now would be an awesome time because you can get things for 20% off. I also got this face mask. I've never tried this one before, but I love sheet masks and this is the cherry blossom brightening mask. When I went and got my hair trimmed earlier, my hairstylist used this frizz dismiss after she styled my hair and it worked really good and it smelled really good so I went and bought some I was gonna get it at the hair salon and they don't sell it anymore because they're like switching brands or something so I decided to go buy it at Ulta it smells amazing and it got all of the frizz out of my hair and it's just like a serum so you just put it on the ends of your hair I decided to try something new last year I used to go spray tan all the time but now that I started back in school again being tan is not really a priority anymore, but if I do go to the beach or I'm gonna be on the boat or something like that, I would not mind having my legs be tan, like if I'm wearing shorts or something. So I thought I would give this a try. I've heard good things about tanning towels, but don't quote me on this because I've never actually tried this brand before or any tanning towel for that matter. I don't usually self tan. Um, I would spray tan in the past, so I'll let you guys know how this goes. I'm kind of excited and these were on sale, so I thought I would give them a try. I also picked up another Tarte Shape Tape. I love this, it's my favorite concealer. I use this all the time. I got the Tula Glow and Get It Cooling Brightening Eye Balm. Everyone and their mother has talked about this. And I recently started using their facial wash and I love it more than anything. I don't even know how I went my whole life without using the facial wash. It's so good. I'll link that as well for you guys. Um, I don't know if I ever updated you when I tried that the last time, but I've been using it every day and it's like my favorite thing. It makes my face so clean. It takes my makeup off. So I wanted to try this because it's like a brightening eye balm and it's kind of just like, it reminds me of like a sunscreen stick and I don't know. Everybody says good things about it, so I was like, I need to try that. And I also decided to get a palette. I got the California Love Palette by ColourPop. The colors in here are so pretty. Let me open it up and show you guys. It's just like the prettiest neutrals and like orange warm tones, which this is pretty much like the colors of eyeshadow that I use every single day with a few pops of shimmer. So I'm really excited to use this palette. And then the other two things were just samples that they gave me. This is the Tarte Double Duty Shaped Tape Glow Wand, Piglet Pink. I have no idea what this is. Let's open it up. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. It is a mirror, like a little tiny piglet mirror. So that's everything that I got at Ulta. I'm so excited to try out some of these newer products and I'll definitely let you guys know what I think about them. I was going to just heat up really quick some leftover chili from last night, but I need to hurry up because it's already 5.30 and that meeting starts at six. So I need to leave in like 10 minutes. Gigantic container full of chili. And it was so, so good last night because it was cold out and we had the windows open and it just hit the spot. So I'm really excited to have it as leftovers right now. And I like to put a bunch of hot sauce on it and cheddar cheese. This hot sauce and then just like mild cheddar cheese. And I got some corn muffins. So I just got finished with the pre-PA meeting and it went really well. So it was basically just like an introductory meeting for what they're gonna do for the whole semester. And we got to meet the president, the vice president, and one of the girls in my class is an officer in the program. So 
it was good. I'm really glad I went because now I'll get an idea of like what events they're gonna hold over the semester. So I have the bath filling and I am gonna do this cherry blossom sheet mask that I got at Ulta today. So I'll let you guys know how this is and I'm also just gonna read my book and relax in the bath and then when I get out, I'm gonna work on my lab notebook. Good morning guys it's the next day obviously and i'm sitting on the couch drinking my coffee i just got out of the shower a little bit ago and i'm just having a pretty relaxing morning i love taking my coffee in the shower with me it's so good if you haven't tried that yet you need to do it and i'm snuggled up with my barefoot dreams blanket i finally got one of these and honestly it's so worth the money it's like the softest thing in the world i'll link the one that i have for you guys i feel like it's out of stock right now but maybe it'll go back in stock it's the snuggliest blanket ever. I'm gonna make a little yogurt bowl for breakfast and I just wanted to show you guys how I do that. I've been using this vanilla yogurt from Dannon and I really, really like the way it tastes, but you could totally do Greek yogurt if you want to because I think that's a little healthier. I just love how this one tastes. And I'm using this vanilla chia granola and raspberries. Here's what the final product looks like. It's so sweet and just like a really good healthy breakfast. So it's a little bit later. I'm just sitting here at a red light. I'm following Chad and we're taking my car into the shop today just to have like some routine maintenance stuff done to it but it sucks because I'm not gonna have my car today so I hate that. I always have this fear that when I take my car and they're not gonna be able to give it back to me the same day but Chad told me that's not gonna happen this time because I'm not like getting parts or anything put into it so there would really be no reason for that to happen. Um, I think they're just doing like flushes to my engine or something. I, I don't even know. But yeah, that's what we're doing right now. And then we are going to the eye doctors to pick up my eyeglasses. So I just got a second pair of frames that are like this, but in a different color. And you guys always ask me, like literally number one question that I get asked is where my glasses are from. So I will link them. They're from the brand TIJN and they don't make prescription glasses anymore on their website, but you can get the blue light blocking version of these frames um, on Amazon. And they're really cheap and they're really popular. So you can get the blue light version if you wanna be my twin and so I'll leave the link. Um, they come in a bunch of different colors. And then obviously if you want to get the prescription version like I have, then you can just take the frames to your eye doctor and ask them to put your prescription lenses in it. I just got in Chad's truck and officially gave up my car for the day. So sad. So I'm back home now. I got my new glasses. They are the exact same thing, like I said, and they just are like a light brown color. I really like them. They're a little bit different, but essentially the same thing, just not tortoise. Chad is going to a CrossFit class and I'm gonna be staying home and working on homework. And I'm basically gonna be trapped here. So I hope that I don't need anything because <laughs> he's taking the only car. I'm about to start doing the graphs for my data from our lab experiment last week. I have to do a post-lab quiz and the post-lab like discussion questions and stuff. So I'm gonna work on that, but I just made lunch. I wanted to show you guys what I'm having. So these are sweet potato chips from the Terra brand. They're so good. And I'm just having a turkey and cheese sandwich on whole wheat bread. I'm gonna eat lunch and work. just printed off the data from Excel and now I'm gonna go ahead and staple this in my notebook and I have to do the discussion questions and we have to like interpret this and calculate the photon based on the wavelength. I don't even know. I'm honestly so confused. still am about halfway done with like the post lab notebook stuff so that's literally how long it takes me um 
I just, every time I do this, I'm like more and more shocked by how much work it actually is. And I'm like, how is it possible that we have to do all this? But I feel like for the average person, it probably doesn't take as long, but because I struggle so much, it takes me forever. So like, this is the equation that I'm doing. And I literally have to do this like 20 times because there's 20 different wavelengths in the experiment. Sorry if it's really loud, Chad's out there vacuuming. But anyway, I am gonna go ahead and end the vlog so that I can edit and upload this during the daytime today and keep working on my school stuff because I'm struggling. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and if you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.